the rewards. Cool. So um, first up is oh, but let me say before we actually do. Um, there's several things to do here. First of all, our contest, then the best in show. We have two special awards: the Mount Albert Award and the um, the best use of Backman OM30 in large scale, which Alan Pollock will present. So we have to go through um, through these. So off we go with number one. Steve Power Rod, that beautiful little general um, from uh, George Oxford, see here. Yeah. I think he might have gone, see those are his sound right? Yeah, he may have had it done. Okay, that's no problem. And no big surprise, uh, the first prize goes to uh, Don Rose's uh, beautiful uh, patron of seven of four. By the way, um, I had a volunteer Scott to do our photographs last night, and um, there was written on the writing in that room. I think he did an outstanding job with the images. He couldn't be here tonight, but he um, did a great job taking pictures. Um, and the lighting in the room really did suck. We're wrapping paper around the things. It really worked out pretty good. So, um, next up, Steam with Power Gear, um, Mark Allen. Your um, beautiful little Cold Creek Lumber Company and Fort 60 Tom Shay. Thanks, Russ. And the winner of that one, of course, is. Um, of course, is. Here we go. There we go. Chuck Lane for his um, beautiful. Um, Next up, um, Bunch of Power Internal Combustion. Uh, third place goes to Phil Holden for his little client speaker. <laughs> and for the current world events and forest fires must have done something, so we actually had um, an. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Well, I know it was a goose, right? Sorry, oh, sorry I, um, my notes are wrong then. We have this. Um, uh, most of the seven garden goose from Mark Allen. <laughs> first place, Mark, come back. Oh no, Chuck, right. Chuck got first place for his. Um, Chuck, so that's my bad. Mark got first place for his beautiful little um, Mac Yard switch. Why didn't Chuck win that? My bad. <laughs> I'll be doing this at 1.30 this morning, but oh, that's a bit messed up. So next one is special equipment. Third place goes to Chuck. Where do we go? Oh, why is it <laughs> Give Chuck a chair up there, I'm so proud. We have a little um, under our map building truck. Second place goes to local boy, George Chambers, for his lovely um, uh, uh, farm driver. George, you must have thank you. First place goes to uh, David Gawain from this stunningly presented um, uh, power driver in the line 30. Okay. Maintenance of way now. And uh, here we have a bit of a theme again. Third place goes to uh, Chris Rogerson for his fire car in line 30. Second place goes to Mark Allen for his five views. This is the five theme of the podcast. <laughs> First place goes to Ben Popper, who is absolutely stunning. Good um, good. 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 That was gorgeous. Did you see the interior? Oh, yeah. That was good. Now let's move on to the freight car. So um, third place goes to Bill Holden for his lovely um, flat car wooden water tank. I thought it was really cute. It's a nice tank. <laughs> so 
So we're standing one across the Atlantic, second place just above Harper, with this lovely um, uh, Sandy River public car in. Well done, Bob. <coughs> First prize goes to um, Brian Black for his um, donkey on Key Disney. Passenger cars now. So third place goes to Mark Mache for his lovely uh, riding dog. Second place goes to Mike May for his nice uh nice passing <laughs> Great job and a great clinic, thanks Mike. And first place goes to our very own Dave Adam, who is Yes, indeed. Cabooses, second place to Triple N. Why are you sitting in the middle of that? Congratulations, you. Nice All right, thank you. Nice. Denver rocks. Now on the favorite friends, you really hard to photograph in that room, as you can probably imagine. But third place goes to Don Rapson's gravel train in GN15. Yes. Second place goes to Steve Bradley for like his one of seven city Up along part of the minor and coming Steve had to leave. Oh, Steve had to take his train away before we got the professional photograph. So we have a, a less well staged photograph here. Forgive us for that. And first place goes to Hugh Bailey again. For his, um, <laughs> now on to structures. So, um, I'm just going to say, this no, is actually one of my favorites of the show this time, but in third place, the Dennis Reed, this beautiful little warehouse in Enscale. It was a bright little place. Where are you? Can I see it? It's hard to do that without going Enscale. What is it? And if you're standing on the you've got to give that high marks. Second place is for our envoy, um, Alan Murray, for this lovely uh, Port Towns and Southern um, Depot, or Depot, in Australia. Don't ask Alan for a speech, please. <laughs> the first place goes to David for this beautiful beautiful gallery. I took about 10 photos of that. <clears throat> we spent a long time getting photographed on this uh, in that place in Lord. We have endless sheets to take around it. Um, uh, but good, I think that came from my house. Dioramas. So um, third place goes to Chuck Lee for his majestic mind. Nice. Second place, um, I think that comes in this bag here, I would have thought. Chuck Lee for his abandoned soul. Here goes to um, Randy for his book scale. Um, <laughs> cool. oh, Next yes. up is a modular layout, so in reverse order. This was actually my favorite, and I don't want to insult anybody, but the beautiful Monster and the Sheepstock Railway in um, O and 30, so far. Oh, there he is. Sorry. Yeah. All right. 
You might start something from northeast over here in Seattle. Second place goes to Chuck for the past eight. That, that image there has been amazing, man. I really like that. And first prize goes to, uh, come on, here we go, Moose Creek. Um, Moose Creek is a senile round here at Blurple, and we see it in many, many different formats. I've never seen it in this very long linear fashion before, and I think that worked really, really well. Now we're getting some really interesting ones, square footers. Um, uh, I like the idea of we can set the soles all around the model just to make sure it's truly a square feet, a square foot, so it's good. So uh, the third place here is Stephen Dries for his um, uh, Deep Creek Mine. All of your dioramas do not have flat. Second place um, yeah, goes yeah. to the Twin Cities, to Mike Angler for his 1900s uh, brass mine. We need to put these both sides to the base. Or the bow. Mike read the memo about not wearing a bunch of shirts tonight, so that's good. The first prize, <laughs> not a big surprise, goes to Brian Black, who is absolutely stunning. That's <laughs> Brian right next to you. That is amazing. Must have taken three to years to build it. Couldn't figure out how in the light in that room to get the detail in there. So it's been so long. It's taken like half second exposure and done, but captured it. But it's really hard to really capture what's in there. Model photographs. So third place is Bob Street for his Snow Creek Town. So our AV team was looking at these pictures earlier with me. They, they were wondering, this isn't a model, right? So they were they were really fascinated with it. Alright, okay. Yeah, you better stay you better stay there, Bob. Second place goes to um, who? Bob Treat for his looking at our moves. And just to round up, first place goes to Bob Treat. <laughs> Bob had a good show. So this is where it gets personal for our group. So we have a, a couple in our group who are both competing photographers when it comes to this. You know who I mean. So third place here for the for the prototype photographs goes to Barry Dupler for his foray. Uh, And a very modelable uh, scene. Yeah. 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 I'm sure he did. Yeah. 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 And unsurprisingly, second place goes to Bob Treat. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I love the Cuban while we're, while we're at it, first place goes to Bob Treat. So the best in show um, isn't a big surprise to anybody, I think. So the best in show is, of course, to Brian Black for the uh, Tacoma General Hospital. 
But the trick was, my dad was in the service, and he was transferred three weeks later, so I've only lived here for three weeks. <laughs> um, I'm here to award special recognition uh, to the use of Bachman products, uh, and it's named the Lee Riley Award. Um, I happen to be a close friend with Lee. Um, but the winners, you don't need to come up because my cohort in crime left the certificates on his desk in Denver. <laughs> what an he's idiot! A, he's a short, fat guy in a yellow shirt that'll be up here in just a little bit. <laughs> that hippie guy? That hippie guy. <laughs> Uh, for the large scale award, uh, I guess I should say it's for the best use of Bachman products or starting with the Bachman product and converting it. Uh, the Owen 3, or I'm sorry, Owen 30 award is for uh, awarded to Chris Rogerson for the maintenance of Way Boxcar. And the large scale award. And the large scale award goes to uh, Don Rose for the K27. And that's it. Certificates in the mail. <laughs> we'll deal with the convention committee and get your addresses and we'll mail those certificates to you. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's the guest.